Good morning again and uh, there's a lesson that we will learn today. Ano kaya yun? Tingnan, tingnan po natin. isip ninyo pag uh, pinag-uusapan natin yung rock I know you know it but uh, there's a lesson at uh, bago po yun ang tapo ako doon at uh, you will see Amen. okay yes you had uh, seen that uh, kanina po ay tumayo po ako sa isang bato uh, alam po natin biblically lahat lalo ng mga Christian about uh, yung rock but uh, there's a lesson na dapat nating pag-usapan dito dahil minsan kahit sinasabi natin ang tagal na natin sa pananampalataya but still we do not know our foundation so, hindi naman kilala ko si Jesus but really? are you standing really? ang tinutukoy dito kung paano ka tumatayo pag-aralan natin yung Matthew 7 verse uh, 24 Actually, hanggang 27 yun about the wise and the foolish man. Uh, dito sa verse 24, i-shortcut po natin, sabi niya, Therefore, ev uh, everyone who hears this word of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Everyone who hears his word and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Kasi ang daming mga nakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. Pero they are not uh, doing, uh, they are not practicing it. Ang importante, nakikinig ka. Ibig sabihin, pag nakinig ka, you put it into practice. Ito po yung example, when a watch uh, claims uh, to be uh, waterproof, it does not mean that if it is submerged in water, it will not get wet. It will get wet, but if it is really a waterproof, then the water will not destroy the watch. Pwedeng mabasa, pero cannot destroy the watch. This, uh, uh, there are no water-free watches, only waterproof. Once, uh, likewise, Christianity does not promise a storm-free life. Yung Christianity, hindi po ibig sabihin na wala ng storm sa buhay natin. Pero, saan ba yung tindig natin dito? Every, every life will occasionally be hit by storms. Kahit Christiano ka, you will be hit by storms. Christianity promises that if we build our lives on biblical foundations, the storm of life will not destroy us. We will weather, weather the, the storms. We cannot have storm-free lives, but we can have a storm-proof lives. We cannot uh, have storm-free lives, but we can have a storm-proof of lives. To illustrate the importance of spiritual foundations, Jesus told a parable of two houses with two different foundations. Ito po yung matatagpuan sa Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 to 27. Question lang po yung sasabihin ko sa inyo yung mga lessons natin para alam natin 
kung saan tayo naka, na, saan tayo nakatayo. How did Jesus describe the wise men who build his house on a strong foundation? Sa verse 24, the wise man heard the word and put them into practice. Yun ang pinaka-importante. The wise man hear, heard the word and put them on, into practice. Another question is, when the rain, uh, rain, wind, and floods hit the house, why did it stand? Bakit nakatayo pa rin? The house is, uh, is built on a rock or a solid foundation. Then, number three, how did Jesus describe the foolish man who built his house on the sand? Ito po, sa verse 26. He heard the word and did not put in it into practice. Yan ang problema. Minsan, mga kristyano, kristyano ka, pero nakikinig ka, pero hindi mo naman ginagawa. Practice it. Practice it. Kaya pag dumating yung, yung storm ng life, na tutumba ka. Why? Because you do not practice. Practice. Amen? What did Jesus say happened to the house on the sand? Another question. The house uh, well uh, fell with a great crash. Yun po yung nakatayo na sa buhangin. Buhangin. Nakatayo. It fell with a great crash. Grabe. Another question is, what do this uh, verse means to you and what will you do about it? Yung verse na ito, ano kaya ang uh, dapat matutunan natin dito? Tayong mga Kristiyano, yung matagal na, sinasabing matagal ka na sa, sa pananampalataya, are you still standing? Yung question na ito, Ano yung matututunan natin? Listen and do what he said. Do it in action. Pag narinig mo, gagawin mo, tutuparin mo, gagawin mo. Yun. Sabi po dito sa isa pang uh, sabi ni Jesus, Biblical Christianity is not just what we know or believe. It. believe. it is what we do about what we know and believe. What did Jesus say to those who hear His word but do not, uh, do, uh, do, not do what He says? Sa Luke chapter 6 verse uh, 46. Why do we call Jesus Lord if we do not practice what He says? Bakit natin sinasabing Lord if we do not practice what He says? If we say Lord, Jesus my Lord, dapat ginagawa natin yung, yung sinasabi niya. We obey, we act for it. Another question is, how did Jesus describe the man who put his word, uh, word into practice? Sa Luke chapter 6 verse uh, uh, 47 to 48. He is a man who dug and built a strong foundation. He dug and built a strong foundation. Jesus said that uh, that person who practices his word will have a strong foundation. Yung mga tao nagpa-practice or do it, it uh, doing in action yung mga sinasabi ni Jesus sila lang po yung talagang malakas pwedeng tumindig dahil ginagawa po natin Amen Ito pa What does practice mean? What happens when someone practice a musical instrument or sport? Yun yung example Put it in action Do it again and again Ibig sabihin practice it again and again Gagawin mo gagawin mo, gagawin mo hanggang matutunan ibig sabihin you are a doer hindi yung hindi ko kaya yan 
Ibig sabihin, bumagsak ka na pag hindi mo kaya. Kaya natin. Amen? And what happens when we practice God's Word? Ito. It will become our lifestyle. It will become uh, our lifestyle. Ano pa? It shows our obedience. Talagang nag-uubi po tayo. Kaya la, saan natin matutunan ito sa mga coaches natin, spiritual leaders, our spiritual teachers. They are important. Why they are important? They will guide us, direct us, teach us in our journey. Help us to grow through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. They will guide us through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Ang, pang, ang Panginoon ang gagamit sa kanila, yung mga pastors natin, mga leaders po natin. Sino ba yung mga spiritual coaches or mentors natin? Ito nga, pastors, leaders, mga matatagal na sa pananampalataya na pwedeng mag-coach sa atin. Council sa atin. What are the foundation doctrines or teachings of the Christian faith? Ito po. Actually, elementary teaching ito sa Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 and 2. Repentance, faith, baptism. Yun po. Elementary teaching gusto natin pumunta tayo sa mas mataas na level pero yung elementary teaching hindi pa natin kaya yung foundation dapat uh, matutunan muna natin yung elementary teaching gusto natin yung mataas na level pero alam nyo kaya maraming bumabag, uh, bumabagsak dahil yung elementary teaching pa lang ayaw na nila eh how much more kung pupunta ka sa mas mataas na label? Okay. What is the inscription on, uh, on God's foundation? Ito po yung matatagpuan sa 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Ano, anong sabi do, doon? Stand firm. You should stand firm. Talagang tumindig po tayo. doon sa foundation na yun. 1 Personal application, pupunta tayo pa po sa personal application. What did you learn from the Bible uh, Bible about this uh, itong scripture na ito sa Matthew 7, 24 to 27? How can you put it into practice? Or how, how will you put it into practice? Yes, you can answer it with your own selves. You can answer it with your own self. Pero sa akin, sa akin, I will always stand on the solid ground or rock and that is Jesus. Amen? God bless us all and more power sa ating pong lahat po dapat ang gawin natin. Amen. God bless po. Ingat po tayong lahat.